Benita with Knitting in the Mitten here, and it's finally a sunny day. We don't usually get sun, so this is awesome. And um, you may be surprised to hear that a lot of people have suggestions of videos they think I should make on my YouTube channel, which is great. I appreciate suggestions, and I can take some of them, but you guys could, you could all make your own YouTube channel and do your own videos. There's another option too. So um, today's request is from our audiologist. So um, my job is to make home visits with babies and toddlers. I work for Early On Michigan and we go do evaluations when there's a concern in some area and or some kind of um, a diagnosed medical condition that might qualify them. So I spend my days visiting babies and toddlers and it's the best job for me. So um, we recently received two new hearing screening machines, which is awesome. Um, we also need a vision screening machine. So we're still hoping that's gonna show up on our doorstep, but um, this week it was the hearing machines. So I am supposed to practice with it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna actually use it on a couple children. So the audiologist asked me to make a video so that he could share it with other people. So today I'm gonna check my hearing for you and I'm not gonna pass, I'll tell you that right now. So um, it has this little tip on the end and then, oh no. I emptied out most of the big ear tips because I don't usually check adults. So I hope that one of these will fit me because I got rid of most of them. Um, we're gonna try this blue one. Um, and John, I didn't get rid of them. I just put them in a box at the office. Okay, so this is the new hearing machine. It's from Welch Allen and I believe it's a three nine five zero zero series so if you want one for yourself you can look it up so i hope you can see it um i'm going to take this little thing and stick it in my ear and supposedly the great thing is you just stick it in there and then you can leave it there you don't have to hold the kid's head which sometimes they don't like that so let's see what happens Okay, this is my right ear, so I'm gonna do this. The screen looks funny. So that's telling me the probe is not in the right place. So I didn't pass. I knew that was gonna happen because that's what happened yesterday. So that doesn't mean I need hearing aids. He said if I had a full hearing exam, I'd probably be fine. This new machine has a different protocol and um, you have to do better in order to pass. So I'm hoping that that doesn't mean we're gonna refer a bunch more kids to the audiologist. Um, but we had some passes today on adults. Well, one person. <laughs> so um, let's try the other ear. So you gotta get it in the right spot. So it has to stay in the green to be in the right spot. So I didn't pass that ear either. And that was no surprise. So if you don't pass, then it says refer on there. And then we make a uh, appointment with the audiologist. So um, anyway, there you go, John. That one's for you. Okay, two things I should tell you. One, you may notice in the video there's a little clip 
come hanging from the cord and that's to clip the cord to the child's shirt if they let me do that. Second thing is I know that the um, little screen on the machine was like scrolling and looking weird. It only looks that weird on the video. In person it's fine. So those are the two things I thought you should know. Truthfully, what I'm most excited about with the hearing screener is that I can fit it and my current vision screener in this little tiny bag. Normally I have a huge bag for the vision screener and a huge bag for the hearing screener and I tucked them both in here. That makes me so happy. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's your chance. Just hit subscribe. Thanks.